guess what? There is new footage that we were able to obtain. And uh, this is uh, this is insane, fam. So basically, <sighs> okay, so Robert Fuller. Yeah. I had gone up to Palmdale with Tina Desiree Berg, who is a fantastic reporter, and you guys should follow her on Rockfin and everything else. And uh, uh, since the fam, you guys weren't able to make it, you were at a protest. There was uh, pasta was in, in in Palm Desert, and uh, and I helped some grab some footage from the area. So let's take a look at some of this footage here that I got. Let me find the footage here. So. We can see here the amount of people that were uh, that showed up Saturday. Saturday I was there. Saturday the uh, the thirteenth of June, I was there, and you know I helped record a lot of this footage. There was a lot of people, hundreds, maybe almost a thousand people mm -hmm. in the city hall of Palmdale. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was on Saturday the thirteenth of June, uh, where hundreds of people gathered, and we can see the vast amounts of people there. Uh, We'll go to the memorial at the tree where people started a memorial there to commemorate George uh, Robert Fuller. And, you know, there's flowers and candles and eventually people put down um, signs, justice for Robert Fuller. We need to keep asking questions things like that. Eventually that Saturday, uh, the protesters decided to march around Palmdale town. And you can see here that the police showed up in their full right gear, <laughs> which is ridiculous because yeah. literally they're just marching. <laughs> they're literally just marching and yelling. No one was looting. There was no looting that was done that day. Yeah. And there's the police, the sheriffs, Sh sheriffs it's department, a SWAT, yeah. L.A. Sheriff's Department, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. And this is like almost towards the outskirts of L.A. County. So, um, yeah, this is really north. It's like an hour away from where we're at. Yeah. So we're, we're in Pasadena. It's and like we're a, pretty we're closer than other places. It's, a, it's about an hour away, uh, 60 miles away from Pasadena. And it's still L.A. Sheriff's Department there. And uh, they really they didn't want the protesters to disrupt traffic right so they just uh they came out there and their swat their riot gear and eventually the crowd moved away from the street and then they left so that was good so nothing too violent happened there uh and basically that saturday you know um we see the courage of people still mm -hmm. asking for questions you know they continue to ask, I mean, for answers. They need, continue to ask for answers. And you can see this lady here. Uh, this is near the end of the protest where she was still right there with a sign. We need answers. We need answers. Yeah. And uh, so that was all Saturday. And uh, me and Tina, we went back multiple times. On Wednesday the 17th, we had gone back and spoken to various shops. Uh, store owners that surrounded the area. Yeah. Uh, so because it was weird the whole time that they never asked, the police never asked for the s tapes from the store owners. In, a pre in the previous show, um, I, I believe it was the 17th or the day after or whatever, uh, I had mentioned how Palmdale, I think it was the sheriffs or Twitter or whatever, they, they, were, they tweeted out the day after Robert Fuller's death about, about a dog. About a dog. And then it's like, why aren't you not asking for footage for Robert Fuller's death? It's exactly they 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 first admitted it was a suicide, and no one's buying that shit because what black man is gonna hang himself in that manner? So here we are in Palmdale. So, so I want to take y'all to the street view. We're gonna see it here. Okay, so here's Palmdale. All right. This is City Hall where everything happened, right? Mm. Okay. So, this is the tree that the memorial was at. This is the uh, City Hall right here. This is City Hall. This is the Chamber of Commerce or something. Okay, and then uh, here's some stores. The store here is a, a cafe 
There's a cafe here. There's a weird store here that has no name. Uh, there's no business here. It looks like it's closed. There's a photography uh, shop here. And let me tell you that there are cameras at various locations, but none that directly show a direct view at the park. They do, however, show virtually all the ways that someone could take to get to the area where Robert Fuller was lynched. Mm -hmm. So let me show you here on the map. So there was a camera here. This is a photography store. There was a camera here at this sketchy uh, shop here that was next to uh, the cafe. Mm -hmm. And that one kind of points this way. So you can't really see because the, the tree is uh, the tree is directly. Uh, yeah, so this camera points this way and the tree is right here. So maybe uh, there was something there. And then there's the fire department here. There's an insurance uh, attorney guy here. There's no cameras there, no cameras there with the fire department, which I was surprised about. Uh, and then there's his apartment over here. So there's a camera on this corner of the building that aims towards this way towards kind of towards the park so maybe there's something there and it was high it was high high up on the building there's another camera here that aims towards the gate so you could see a car coming down this way if there was a car coming down this way and then mm -hmm. turned into the maybe there's parking spaces right here there's parking spaces right here they could have parked right there and then gone to the tree right there who knows they could have parked over here there's but there's these apartments that have cameras so um <clears throat> The one here next to the cafe has the perspective of the parking lot and towards the water fountain. Not really uh, towards the, the tree, really. But again, you uh, it can show pretty close of someone walking by there mm -hmm. or a, a car license plate, perhaps. Uh, to no avail, were we able to get footage from the store. In fact, when, we, when I knocked on the store, I didn't realize it at the time, but someone was in there and she totally ignored us. So let me show you this clip real quick. Uh, right here. So here's the cafe, which is right next to it. Mm -hmm. Any cameras anywhere? No, no cameras in the walking. cafe. Yeah, but see, here's this one right here. And then look at look at that camera. It's a ring. So you know I'm going to see if there's anyone in there. It's just an office. What kind of office is this? I don't know. Has that been there that whole time? Yeah, I got photo of it on Saturday. Really? Yeah. So me being me, I try to. It's really dark. They have something dark. And I try to get with the camera. And you can see there's somebody in there. I had no idea. There's somebody in there. So they totally ignored us. Oh yeah. They totally ignored us. Um, Do you think people are scared of the police? Because that's what I mean. Um, I also well, we're going to show I interviewed some people, but one person. But I've talked to a few people who lived in, in that area. Palmdale, Lancaster. There's a lot of uh, tension between the community and the police. There's a lot of uh, it's. It's really a lot of people say that they have seen a lot of white supremacist people in the area, that the police are heavily tied to to racist people. Um, you know, there's rumors, there's all these things that are going on. And a lot of these people, I'm sure, don't want any trouble with the police. Uh, from the people that I spoke to there, uh, they weren't aware of the Peckerwoods. Mm hmm. Uh, everywhere we asked, they weren't really aware of the Pecker Woods. Yeah, that's a specific name, though. Yeah, it is specific. Yeah, and then, I wasn't even aware. I don't of know. It yeah, so for a while. If it, if there was anything about that, like, it looks like they're doing it pretty pretty secretly. Uh, so one of the store owners I will show here, um, this corner store. Um, let me see if I can pull it up here on the map. So there's a park. That's the tree right there. Mm -hmm. This corner store right here, they had a camera. And uh, it's a photography store slash uh, the, the uh, they share the corner store with their son who does photography. Really nice, uh, really great couple, uh, family. Uh, let's see when they say the police showed up to their store. They actually allowed us to speak to them. So let's see when they say that the police showed up to the store. 
que me dijo mi hijo que parece que habían venido los detectives para que les que iban a traer un chip porque mi hijo no, no tiene otro parece que iban a traer un chip no sé si para grabar esto no sé pero mi hijo dijo que ya habían venido los detectives creo. y cuando vinieron era cuando cuando pasó el, el día que pasó o era no mucho después mucho después apenas o sea tres días tres cuatro días cuatro ah, días póngale cuatro días más o menos. esta cámara firma de 24 horas así o se queda todo ah, me imagino que sí porque luego cuando nosotros luego vamos mi hijo dice que dejemos todo pero mi hijo es el que más le puede dar más información porque él es el, el de aquí ok ah, sí. eh, no, no es tanto distancia pero su, de repente se puede ver un carro que viene aquí Exacto. por ahí no sé si, si so that was a direct view. That was the live view of the camera. Um, so yeah, he said three or four days. Let's continue. Me pasó esto del pobre muchacho. No es están los globos en el árbol ese. Sí, en ese árbol. Si no se puede ver el muchacho, pero se puede ver los carros que vienen. Exacto. Entonces, si dicen que fue como a las tres de la mañana, si si eso pasó por aquí, si hay un carro o algo que pasó por aquí, ahí empieza, ¿no? Sí. Right. Yeah. ¿Cómo cómo no pueden los policías venir el primer día? <laughs> Tres, cuatro días. Cuatro días. Que vinieron, parece que sí. No estoy muy seguro. So, yeah, I mean, even the, even yeah. the, that gentleman couldn't mm -hmm. even believe that it took them that long mm -hmm. to get to the, to the, to the footage. That's what whatever. Said. And then they had, it, it took them that long to ask questions, but right away they decided it was a suicide. It's two conflicting things. Exactly. How do you decide it's a suicide right away without a full autopsy? But yet you think it's not important to talk to the businesses that with the cameras to, to get the actual, you know, the full story of what might have happened. And so uh, after various days of communication between myself and the son, he granted us access to the footage. Uh, and here's some things to know before I show this footage. The camera records only when there's movement in front of it. Uh, during nighttime, this camera is not really good, uh, and that goes to, that goes to like all cameras. They yeah. all lose quality when there's low light, since light is primarily how cameras work, you know, and how I our, how our eyes work. We we right. in take the light that reflects off everything, right? Uh, physics one hundred one. Uh, except our eyes are better, you know. Uh, so there. So here's my analysis of the footage. Okay, we're gonna go through it, and you're gonna have to bear with me because uh. They were uh, WMV files, so it's actually really <laughs> it's hard to play on a Mac. So here, here's uh, here's what we're gonna do. So this one, which was at 10:04 uh, p.m., uh, this was 10:04 p.m., and we can see a car pull into the lot. So it's an SUV type car that pulls into the lot. Um, so that's what happened at 10.04 p.m. Now let's go to the next one that I have on the list or that made the important list, that made the useful list, which was uh, right here. This one is at uh, 10 minute, 10, 10.24 p.m. on June 9th. Uh, it looks like a different car actually pulled into the lot. A different day or the same day? The same day, okay. uh, 20 minutes later. It looks like a different car pulled in from the left side here. And then you see a person walk. Well, he, it looks like he was running, jogging. Let me, uh, let me replay that one for you guys. It's so there's so a car. I know. There's a, let, me, let, me, let me do oh, it slowly. I see, I see. Okay, I want you to watch over here, okay? Watch over here. And uh, we also see someone running from right to the left. Could they have been going on a jog, perhaps? But he was 100% running. The camera does not film slowly or quickly. It's real time. So let's watch this. There they are. There they are. Right there. Following my mouse, following my mouse. There's a person that's running across the street. So then the camera cuts out. Um, and that was at 1024 and 39 seconds. And uh, that actually, um, I run. That looks like a fast run. Yeah. To me. Um, just like, because when you're jogging, you're jogging. Uh, it looks, I don't know, maybe 
It looks really fast. For yeah. Job, well, a car but. pulls in and, well, who knows? You know, they could just be, uh, you know, jogging. They could be going for a jog. Yeah. At 10, 24 p.m. Um, so then the next one, which was right after, uh, I just had seen this one. This is, uh, I just, I just noticed this one. This one is kind of crazy. Now. Someone is walking in the background, and you also see the red light from the previous car in the last clip in between the flags, so pay attention to this. Okay. You see the red the red light here, and then... There, there it is. Someone's walking right there. Uh, it's, really, it's really slow. It's really fast, but someone is walking at the very end Did there. Did you show it? Yeah, I did show it. Oh, oh, I did not show I, it. My bad. Show. Okay. My bad. Okay. Yeah, like, it was on Fiorella. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to show it again here. Sorry about that, guys. It's, it's weird because... He's talking and doing... That and then also these files were annoying. And uh, so here, I'm going to show you again. So the red light there, you saw it right here. There's a red light of the car because this is directly right after the last one where mm-hmm. that car pulled in from the left. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, if we pay attention, right there, someone is walking across it. You can barely see it. It's really hard to see. It's really hard to see. Someone is walking into the park at 1025. Fuck. And this is the day of. This is the the night of, yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is June 9th, and then the hangin uh, got called in at the 10th. Okay. Uh, so we see someone, we see a car. Is there anything open that would have been open at that time at the, for these cars to be there? Around City Hall? No. No, no, no. There's no way. Let me pull up this next one. This one is at 1049 hmm. and four seconds. And... uh what I saw in this one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say what I saw and then we'll we'll look at it. So mm-hmm. we see a car coming from the direction of City Hall and pull in next to this other car that's parked right there. Uh, and then we also see someone walk by directly in front of the camera. And they could just be walking home. So let's just see what this looks like. So there's the car. Pulling into the lot, and then there's someone walking by there. It looks like they actually cross the street. Uh, but yes, there's a car that pulls in. I see. The next clip right after that one, which is at 10:50 p.m. with 54 seconds, so a minute later, or like 30 seconds later, uh, we see. The car that is parked is unlocked, I believe, which is what the yellow light is. So perhaps someone left their car there and then went some well, went somewhere and then came back to late to pick it up, right? We leave our cars in 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 places. Or the car was involved somehow. So let's just take a look yeah. at this. So you see the yellow light. I think it got unlocked. And then uh so yeah, that car pulled up to take that person to that car. Now, the next one says, we see both cars pull out. The car that drove them waits for the first one to leave. So, basically, here it is uh, 10.51 p.m., so a minute later. And uh, we see both of these cars pulling out. And the car that dropped off the person who got into that car is waiting. And we see it's like kind of like an SUV. That, like... What are they in front of right now? They're in front of the park? So the park is over here, and then the stores are over here. The cafe is, like, over here. This corner store is nothing. There's, like, it, it has no business. There was no business. I'll show you on this map, actually. So if the camera's here, it's aiming this way. Aiming this way. So then the car was parked there. It looks like Arca Salvation Church. It's its church. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's a church. I didn't know that was a church. Um. But yeah, here's the uh, the sketchy business, and then this is the cafe right here. So it's this camera from this photography store is aiming this way, and we can see just a small field of view here, 
and uh, that's how we saw. Uh, that's what we saw there. So let mm-hmm. me pull up the next one. What do you think about this all fam so far? Um, it's just really weird to me that people are there late, especially in this town that's pretty like it's not the most populated area. Um, it's a very suburban area. If all the businesses are closed, it's super late. The most I can think you'd be doing is going to a park and jogging. Um, I also think it would involve if you were going to frame somebody as a suicide and if you were a cop or if you were involved in any sort of way, you wouldn't go with a, um, you'd ha- need to have a big car like an SUV and you wouldn't go with a police marked car. You'd go with an, a, a car that's normal and you'd also need help. I don't think one person could do this if they were no. framing something, right? No. So you would need a lot of room to transport a body because a lot of people were saying that um, his body, the way it was positioned, looked like it was just put there. Um, And so if I'm seeing an SUV and another car and all this interaction, I don't know. I'm just really suspect that it's anything innocent because I like what there's it's COVID like still people like these businesses aren't open what are you doing over there at that time? At the very least, yes. I would have tried to look at that and try to interview these people and say, what were you doing at this hour on June 9th at exactly. 1024? Okay, right? so that's a good point, fam. It's COVID. And when we went there and we were trying to find food, and st- there's a lot of businesses that are closed yeah, still, still from COVID. Like this is in the outskirts of LA. LA is starting to open back up. These businesses were closed and a lot of them were still operating uh, under COVID procedures, which is basically you know um mask only drive through no yeah. in, no in, nothing inside right. no, nothing was inside and if things close like at 9 or 10 here over there i'm assuming they're closing way earlier than that exactly and the in the this is like the middle of nowhere it's like the desert yeah okay so this next one was really interesting also cuz it's another figure walking in the park and i will zoom in for you but it's really hard to see and this is at 12 24 p.m so now it is june 10th midnight uh, right. 12 24 p.m so it's the same day same night but uh it's uh 12 24 so let's look at this and it's the figures up here so after this car passes you just see a shadow over there you just see a shadow so it's really hard to see let me pull it up again it's really hard to see, um, but Tina says I got eagle eyes. So, so there's a there's a shadow. There's a shadow. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can here. Sorry, this footage is like really, really. Uh, they were in WMV files, so Mac does not support it. So here I'm going to zoom in. Right here you got to look, okay? There's a shadow there. There's a shadow. Boom, I just followed it. It's really hard to catch. I'm sure the police did not catch that. <laughs> um, uh, it doesn't say anything. It just says that there's someone there at 1224. And then the, the figure we saw earlier, it also says that there's somebody there at whatever. Yeah. What was it? 10... 1020 something or yeah it was 1025 uh throughout the whole footage just like a lot of cars that were driving by which is interesting during covid and the fact that it's city hall i'm not sure if this is a busy street uh had i guess people can go to church late if they there's something going on there and usually that's not but what that's, happens i don't even know if church is open cause... exactly churches aren't open that late uh so let me pull up this next one what, what did i say about this next one this next one is one okay so it's 107 a.m another person walking in front of the store a passerby or i think since they went off to the right so let's watch this really quick um i just included this because i wanted to document every time someone passes every time there's a person so i basically documented every time there's a person that i could see uh so that was another one i think i think that person was involved it looked like an old lady to me. Yeah. Um, one, this next one, it says, sirens from the fire trucks arriving. So this is 327, uh, no, this is 324 a.m. 
when supposedly the uh, fire department got the call. So somebody, how did they get the call? That's what I'm saying. So when did they get the call? When did that person see it? Like who drove by and saw that? Like that's that's what I'm saying. Because so. that's the timeline is like soon they had to. It could have happened between that time. That was a short amount of time. You're you're starting to see something between ten twenty four and three o'clock so it probably happened before sometime in between there and sometime before they even saw it and in between all that fam which i didn't include in this i see ah, the cars they look really like it's hard to distinguish in detail the car yeah there's a certain car that has the the red brake light that goes across right Mm -hmm. And I think it would, I think I saw this same car just driving by multiple times, multiple times throughout the whole night. So maybe that could have been someone who helped and then was driving people to see it. I don't know. This is me reaching. Mm-hmm. This is not with factual evidence. Although I feel like I did see the same car driving by multiple times. That is the footage I saw that I thought was really useful. I am in contact with the person who released it to see if we can release all the footage to the public, but we are not sure yet, and I will update you guys when that happens. Yeah, because the public should really have a right to know all of this and see all of this for themselves. So what do you think about uh, all this, fam? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous that it took them this long to even get the footage. It's ridiculous it took them this long to get the footage. I think it's ridiculous that not more people are coming forward and, and, you know, saying, hey, here's some footage you know you you tried talking to somebody else i also think that there's a lot of activity for that time of night and even way after 10 o'clock we're talking about 11 o'clock 12 o'clock even people just you know uh, too many cars like and then all of a sudden you have this body the whatever happened happened somewhere in between there whatever happened happened somewhere in between there if i was going to commit suicide in the middle of the night um and no, like, like, I, I think I would make sure it was a place that was like, completely like secluded. This seems like a place that's not even that secluded. Um, the fact that there were so many cars driving by to me just signals like that there was m- multiple people involved in this. I think. Um, I think so too. I think it was a yeah. planned, coordinated effort. Um, and I think the most damning one was this one that I just saw today that i didn't even realize uh when the car pulls in from the left uh at 10 25 p.m i'm 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 putting the time at 10 25 p.m this Mm -hmm. is me completely uh just making mm, i'm I'm a little i'm reaching a little bit here because this Mm. car that pulls in at 10 25 p.m it mm-hmm. pulls in from this this way, which is you have to pass by the apartments to get there. And right. the apartments have cameras. So if the apartments would comply and give their footage, then we could see which, which car this is. And then also, if there's anything going on with the gazebo, which is on the left over here, it's on the left over here. There's a gazebo. And then there's the tree right there. And then there's the fountain right here. And then this car just pulls in from the left stops there's someone running there and then in the next clip someone gets out of that vehicle it looks like Mm -hmm. see there's a vehicle and then someone gets out of that vehicle Mm -hmm. sorry sorry i'm trying to trying to get this for the fams trying to show you guys his fams Then there's someone walking towards the park at 10.25 p.m. I, that's where walking I, that's where into I would, the center of the park, that's where not would, even running. That's where I would, no, he was walking towards the center. So yeah. that's where I would be focusing my energy if I was to, to share the department with so many resources to be right. able to fucking we'll just demand all this footage. This. Yeah. So, I mean, my conclusion of this is basically the sheriff's department should have gotten the footage from the apartments, that sketchy business in the photography store, which is 
the three cameras that we saw, I don't think the church had any cameras. Instead, the only store that we were able to speak with says that cam they came that uh, uh, detectives came Monday after, which is the fifteenth. So and the the lynching happened on the tenth. So that's five days after the lynching. Yep. And then got that footage on a USB drive on the nineteenth, which is the day that we received the footage. Uh, and this is purposely neglectful on the part of the sheriff's department and very suspicious if you ask me having the resources they have and the time they have if they really cared they would have gotten the footage the next day instead of posting about a dog we can see various cars enter the lot and then someone walking in the distance and the times are really sketchy so yeah I mean it's all uh, I think that footage is showing us what happened but it's just so hard to tell with you know with that type of footage and also the angle too um it would really help if we could get the other footage and and let's talk about that for a minute the police department investigating itself when they are the ones under investigation doesn't really sing right to me right this is a situation where if i were an honest deputy i would be like okay we might need to call the feds or we might need to have somebody else outside our jurisdiction investigate this because um there might be people involved in our department, right? Like I, it just, it's just, I don't trust the police investigating this because obviously they're, they're not interested right off the bat. Somebody should have said, Hey, this isn't being investigated. Right. Let's call on to somebody else that's outside of this to, to do the investigation. They would never do that. Fam. But because... that's the, but that's the thing. That's, that's the proper protocol, but they seem to be covering it up and just dismissing it insisting on the suicide when clearly i mean if the guy did kill himself somebody had to have seen it right there, we're looking at all these cars coming in and out these people somebody had to have seen it or somebody had to have seen something somebody out there like who something. called it in that's the other thing that's so another thing release that that audio right so, so that, that's that segment fam